there's a new feature on Dolly that allows you to edit actual images with an in-paint feature. Today I'm going to be showing you what this new feature is on Dolly and why it's so effective. And of course, we're going to test it out with multiple different outputs. So first off, let me just say that I've been testing this and playing with this for maybe the last few days now. And uh, this feature came up about very luckily. I was, you know, creating some images. And I noticed when I clicked on an image, there was this almost like this window. And basically, it's exactly what you guys see here. This window on the right hand side where I can click on this button here where I'm selecting things that I want to change about the image. So let me show you guys what exactly what I mean. So here is the RB sticker maker, which is my sticker making, uh, I guess you could say plugin that I always use or custom GPT that I always use for stickers. And I kind of made it specifically for Redbubble style, right? You guys have probably seen the video on it before. If not, I'll leave a link in the description where you could watch that whole entire YouTube video on the RB sticker maker, um, image creator, right? And so Basically, uh, let's just say I don't want this image to have any of these stars or any of these graphics all around. Well, I could just go over here to the left-hand side, control the size of my brush, and just color over all the different things that I don't want, right? So if you notice, once I kind of do this, this coloring over kind of feature, I have a little message that I, that I could give Dolly. And Dolly is the creator of the images. So I, I could easily say here, remove objects, which is already what I've done. It's actually, if you guys see here, uh, this was the original image. And then what I did was I selected pretty much almost everything around this area. And I said, remove stars. That's all I did, right? I simply said, remove stars. And the image came out like this. Now, I didn't select these two items because I wanted to see or these two objects rather, I want to see how specific it could be. Now, once again, I've been playing with this for the last few days, testing different things, and I could say that it works fairly well. Um, let me go ahead and show you a live tutorial with this little section here. So I can go over here, highlight this, right? And I could actually ask it to change into something. So I could say, instead of remove objects, I'll say change into fireworks something like that. And what it will do is it will process what I'm asking. It will look at what's highlighted and it will actually change the image. Now you can ask for a simple removal or you can ask for something to be changed. Now, once again, guys, this is a pretty cool feature to have for Ch GPT Dolly 3, right? Pretty cool feature to have. You could see here the image is almost done creating. It's working on the image doing its job and making the change. And look at this. So here, once again, it made the change. Doesn't look as good as I would like it to be, but that's probably because my selection was a little off. Let me try to be a little bit more specific with a different image. Let's go ahead and ask it to create a picture of a unicorn sticker, for example. So I'll say, please generate a sticker of a unicorn uh, with pastel colors, something like that. And let's wait for it to create an image. Now here is a picture of a unicorn. Now for me, this image seems a little bit busy to me. What if I want to remove as much as I possibly can from this image? Let's say these leaves right here, right? I'll go over here. I'll change the size of my brush. I'll just highlight very specifically exactly what I want to remove. So let me make my brush a little bit smaller, but let's say I highlight this, I highlight this, I highlight this, right? And highlight here. And I do want to keep it as consistent as I possibly can. Of course, not everything is going to be 100% perfect, but I'll highlight these here, highlight this. And what I'll do is I'll just ask it to simply remove these objects, okay? So highlighting here as well highlighting here and notice how when I highlight over something there's this little dotted border dashed border around what I'm highlighting which just goes to show that it's really understanding to what level do I really want to remove things I'll highlight this here I'll highlight this I'll highlight this a few more selections here 
just for the uh, sake of experimentation, we can say. And once again, I don't think this feature is 100% perfect, but it is very, very impressive. The results have been exceedingly impressive. So I'll go over here and I'll type in remove objects and I'll hit submit and we'll wait for it to do the removal. So now that the result actually exists, we can see how effective it was. Now notice here, it's actually removing exactly what I asked it to remove. And I only highlighted around the inner parts of the leaves of the image. If I go back and I ask it to do another iteration, I can absolutely do that. So guys, what you're seeing here is a live example. And don't get me wrong, this selection, right, looks good. I'm just simply using it as an example to make some changes. Let's say instead of removing some parts of the image, I want to change something. So what I would do is let's say I want to change how the um, eye or actually on the, the horn of the unicorn, right? So I'll just highlight this part right here, just like this. And let's just say I wanted to look a little bit longer, right? I'll go like this and I'll say, change the look of the horn on the unicorn something like that and i'll hit submit and we'll wait for that to happen now once again this is kind of an experimental feature it's still a very very early release for this feature um, i'm sure it's going to get better with time as dolly always keeps improving we're going to be seeing the results firsthand and experiencing them I wouldn't be surprised if in the future we can choose certain things on the canvas, make some edits, and even remove things like backgrounds or add in text, and just have like an all-in assistant that can do the work for us. Um, guys, they did change the horn. Look at this. This is a different look, right? Let me click on the first version. And this is the second version. To me, this version looks better. Now that's just a short, subtle example. I can go ahead, and I want to test something again here live. And I might ask it the AI to create a hat, put a hat on top of the unicorn, right? So I might highlight this whole area here, right? Just like this. Make it look like a hat shape, right? Something like that. And I'll say put a put a St. Patrick's Day hat on top of the unicorn's head. Something like that. Now, this is purely a um, test. You know, I'm not sure how this would look. And once again, this is not something I would normally do for a piece of art that I'm selling or for print on demand. But hey, it's an effective tool that you can use for various particular circumstances. There's a lot of situations when I would change one small feature about an image created on Dolly that I might want to use for print on demand. I mean, just the other day, I was making a design for field day, you know, like how kids have field day. And uh, wow, look at that, you know, cut me short while I was talking. Look at that. It added exactly what I wanted. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. You guys see here the results. But anyways, I was creating a field day design the other day, and this was about maybe a week ago, two weeks ago. I would say two weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago to be exact. But um, this feature didn't exist, and there were some small things I did want to change. Now, I can use this feature, change those small things, and get a whole lot more results. And so, I hope that you guys enjoy this feature. I hope this video helps you out in your journey. It's definitely a cool feature to have, and definitely, um, you know, I'm thankful for GPT that's constantly making iterations, constantly making improvements to their product at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, guys, tell me, are you going to use this feature I can definitely see myself using this feature in certain circumstances, of course. I wouldn't try to force myself to use it each and every time, but you could see here the changes that the AI is able to make, and this is much more usable than the old system, what we used to do. If you guys remember, when we would create images with Dolly, what would happen is we would rewrite a request for it to change something, and this is much more effective and definitely much more usable uh, and, and really much more specific in a way that we get to co co uh, communicate with the AI very specifically on what's on our mind, what exactly we want to change. 
And so I think they did a great job here. This is an awesome feature to have. And I think it's going to impress you if you go ahead and try it. You guys let me know, though. I'll leave uh, some of the resource links, the video links, uh, like just like this uh, Redbubble sticker maker resource link. If you guys want to see that video of, of you know me putting this uh, application or chat GPT plugin together, I'll leave a link in the description. You can go ahead and watch that video. Test the tool out for yourself. Give it a review on the chat GPT store. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. And peace out, bye.